the choice uh, of venue is, I think, uh, extremely symbolic. Um, the prison as a panopticon, as a social panopticon, and the translation of that today into a society which is very much governed by digital networks and information technologies, which can be seen as a kind of also invisible panopticon. So, of course, the way that you navigate the show and the sense of slight claustrophobia that one feels, uh, I think is also part of the um, experience. Moving beyond the title and the idea of hacking, which is something that we also associate with the digital sphere, um, more importantly, I think that the show actually talks about the big issues. So issues of democracy and citizenship and freedom and rights and inclusion, exclusion, and of course power and uh, how it is exercised and by whom. My dream is that, uh, that people understand that uh, every one of us have the capacity to change the world uh, and that they recognize that they have a responsibility in co-creating their own communities. And um, I mean, that's it. I mean, we have to recognize that we're running out of planet uh, and uh, if we don't really change the way we run our own lives and our smaller and bigger communities were really fucked. So wake up, people. The artwork you see is a city of electronic components that reflect in real time what is happening. The artwork lies within the themes of urban landscape, surveillance culture, privacy and alienation in the city. The installation poses the question of who owns the data and speculates that virtual borders will soon create more systems of control. The underlying conceptual theme is the mother of Big Brother. The age of privacy is over. Imagine walking out of the door and knowing every single action, movement, sound, micro-movement, pulse and thread of information is being tracked, monitored, stored, analysed, interpreted and logged. The world we live in seems to be a much bigger brother than the Orwellian vision. Vem aqui dentro. 
Mamma Nico! Ehi, mamma Nico! Oh, Sto pa' che li dottori! Dottori Mauro! C'è! Non pa' che li dottori! Non pa' che li dottori! Non pa' che li dottori! Da là! Su life! Life! Da che a due mesi! Da me già tu là! Você, você, você! Você, você vai nos amo! 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 E você? Cheio, cheio, cheio! Vamos até com você, não posso usar para dar tempo! Mas não sou rápido, não sou rápido! Diga as seis horas, até as seis horas, quatorze horas! Como nós podemos pensar sobre a internet como um lugar onde você pode demandar o seu direito de sua própria verdade, em vez de a verdade ou a verdade? Então, nós temos milhões de verdades? Sim, nós temos milhões de verdades. Nós temos. Lassen Sie uns eine Brücke in die Zukunft bauen. Eine Steinbrücke von Afrika nach Europa, um das sinnlose Sterben im Mittelmeer ein für alle Mal zu beenden. Ein Jahrhundertwerk der Humanität. Die Brücke wurde soeben als Revision des nationalen Programms beim Fonds für die innere Sicherheit eingereicht. Baubeginn ist Frühjahr 2017. Geplante Fertigstellung 2030. Die Brücke wird die Lebensader zweier Kontinente sein und das wirksamste Mittel gegen Schleusungen und Schlepper. Doch die Menschheit kann nicht so lange warten. Wir wollen tausend Rettungsplattformen ad hoc auf dem Mittelmeer fest installieren. Die erste Plattform wird die österreichische Regierung bereits am 1. Oktober zu Wasser lassen. Bundeskanzler Werner Faymann ruft die europäischen Regierungen hiermit energisch auf, es ihr unverzüglich und ohne große Diskussion nachzutun. Mein unternehmerisches Leben hat mich gelehrt, dass Investitionen sich rechnen. Es geht nicht um Großzügigkeit, sondern darum, etwas für uns zu tun, indem wir etwas für andere tun. Wir können vielleicht nicht die Welt, aber viele Menschen leben retten. social theory that is the essence of what we do to 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 not take for granted the institutions and for the social power that are presented to us as as normal um, and in my particular field of course to not take war for granted and all the institutions legitimizing war so to always you know always be critical and to never take things for granted and to always look at things as if you see them for the first time in a way um, so it's very much a gaze, it's very much a way of looking uh, at the world that I think we, sh we share when, when it comes to critical academia and, and the artist, and then propose perhaps new ways of looking. That's what contemporary warfare is about. So if you want to do conflict analysis, you've got to be able to understand all these, you have to understand the drone pilot sitting in this Nevada container. He's still got the pilot, he's just... Yeah, that's what they call themselves. Okay, yeah. <laughs> dream on. <laughs> and um, and you got to understand how these Somali men were capable of mobilizing and, and sort of getting to this kind of action. Uh, so there's a lot of theaters and arenas that you have to be able to understand through, through different analytical vocabularies. And that's what you are trying to do. So that's one of our cases. Und wärmt wie eine zweite Haut. Me. 
mit Heißluftföhn gebrannte Galaxien. In this video, Michael Hart introduces the idea of love as a political concept. Um, love is something that we tend to think governs only the personal domain. But in fact, if you actually think about it, um, quite a few of the problems in society are because there is a lack of love. There is a lack of love in politics, and he suggests in this video that, um, that love is a, pol is a political concept, and perhaps one can even take a leap of the imagination and think about what politicians would do if they exercised their profession with more love and less interest. Presque tous les jours, il y a des mots qui disparaissent parce qu'ils sont maudits. Alors, à la place ou même pas forcément, on met des nouveaux mots qui correspondent aux idées nouvelles. D'ailleurs, depuis deux ou trois mois, il y a des mots que j'aimais beaucoup qui ont disparu. Lesquels mots Pleurer, lumière de tonne, tendresse aussi. How to act politically as a equal multiplicity of different groups. I wouldn't say they've all been successful, but that seems to me it's it's a animated by a political desire, animated by a political desire for democracy. So I would call. I would call these kind of experiments experiments in a, in a political love. What we've entered into uh, and accepted is a political regime that is sustained by fear. In fact, one could say democracy won't be possible until we can somehow create a political society that is not based on fear. To accept with this, we're, we're, part of going down this road is to recognize how love changes society and changes us. I mean, love is an ontological condition, an ontological power, really, in that sense, that love changes you. C'est des mots que je ne connais pas. On me les a pas appris. Rustum, one, 